up, hi, how's it going? We just got to Paris. train station here now. We're not really sure where to go, but we're looking for a place to get weekend passes so that we don't have to buy a train ticket every time and then we can just get on a train and we're good to go. So we went to a place that kind of looked to be right and the guy directed us downstairs. So we're gonna go down following his directions down here to see if, oh, there's a dog. See if, uh, oh, I see. See if we can get us some weekend passes and then we'll start exploring while we're here. Whoa. Here go. Here go. Let's go. So we got our weekend pass. How much was it? 60? 6 euro? For, for three days? For Friday, Saturday, and then all of Sunday. For two adults and one child, it's 66 euro. For all weekend. But Oh, 26.65 for three days for one person, one adult. Not gonna focus, but it's there. What's wrong? We'll find the hotel and then we'll get some food, okay? I've been trying to keep vlogging at a minimum when we're with like a bunch of people. I'm out of breath because I got really nervous for a minute. I've had my phone put away. I have my camera put away. And I keep getting really nervous because as soon as I pull my phone out, I'll be on my phone and then I'll reach for my pocket where my phone would be and it's not there and I panic for a second and then realize that it's in my hand because I've heard a lot of careful of pickpocketing. There's a lot of pickpocketing. You get stuff stolen from you. So, I've been kind of a nervous wreck. But we just got off the train that Travis was not feeling at all because <laughs> there were so many people. And look where we are. These buildings are so beautiful. Sir, you are in the wrong country. They're American. He's wearing Wranglers and a cowboy hat. That's a line right there. <laughs> Brooks was telling me they, uh, they came here with his parents or her parents, his wife's parents or whatever. They sat out here for like three hours while the parents were in there just to look at the Mona Lisa. Dang. It's like, so it's not really worth it. People probably don't even know what they're standing in line for sometimes. They're just like, oh, we stand in line here? That's kind of cool. There's little boxes so you can take pictures. Everyone's put their finger on it. Yeah.
need it. Some might say we're bad at traveling because we don't really plan out everything we're doing, but I think that makes our trips more fun. Because like right now, we got no plans. <laughs> So we're just sitting here by this fountain. <gasps> look at him! <gasps> oh my god, look at him! It looks just like the ducks that we have stuffed on our shelf on the, the house. Stop, it does. We should get another one. A real one. Look at it battle its little feet. Ah, oh, they're so cute! That was a fish. Oh my god. Excuse me while I freak out over the ducks. <gasps> oh, my hair's real soft. Feel it. <laughs> we were kind of making our way toward food. There is someone taking wedding pictures by this fountain. Lady, I hope you don't fall in. That little bird just jumped off. But as we were kind of just walking around, we saw all these chairs by the fountain and Calvin's like, I want to sit down. So we sat down. And that's what we can do because we don't have actual plans. Look! Look at him! He was Come all the way to Paris, watch ducks swim in fountain. <laughs> Look at him. Mom, you just give him one? I want one. What an apple. Go. <laughs> this is where we just came from. So we want. We want the Irby. Yeah. He's a little cute view. I like it. Travis just got the app bird. So now we got a scooter around. I need a scooter. Find me one. the Eiffel Tower now and we got the bird app so we can ride these scooters so we located two on the map Travis just went to get another one there he is and Cal and I are gonna ride this one and head to the Eiffel Tower just scootering our lives away we just went so far on these scooters so fast that was so cool but look where we are <laughs> that was awesome that made me happy it's so easy it is <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Let me come. <laughs> Very cool. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> China. Okay. Okay. What is your name? I'm Travis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it. Yeah, we can keep it. Those are so neat. Watch these guys. Okay. Watch this guy in the purple and black. Walk out, walk out. Because he's in on it. Yeah. So, this guy here and that guy that just won. Are the ones that have won before? Are the ones that I keep winning.
she just has sad eyes in that picture. How much is that? 30. What in the world? <laughs> so we just got a drawing of Calvin that doesn't look exactly like him, you know, just cause. But before that, the craziest thing happened. There's always like people posted up, it seems. Like all the people that are selling things and then like working tricks and stuff. And there was this group of people. They were all like in a circle. And this one guy had three little cups on the ground and then a little sponge ball under one of them. And he would like move them around and then you had to guess which one it was under. And people were giving like 100 euro, 200 euro to guess which one it was under. And they would win and then like one of the same guys would guess and they would be wrong so they would just keep their money. But then if you win, you double your money. So it was like the same four or so people guessing. And Travis noticed just by watching for like a minute or two that it was like these same people doing it and started pointing it out. So one of them walks over and was like, you go, you go. Where are you from? Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> he started asking where we're from and stuff and, and telling Travis that he needed to go because he had obviously like figured out what they were doing. So then all three of them came around us, four of them, yeah. and told us that we just needed to leave because we had figured out what they were doing. So that was a little, <laughs> a little fun. Yeah, they were being mean. Yeah. They were trying to be scary. Yeah, they were trying to intimidate But they weren't us. scary. Not to me, they weren't. I wouldn't let them hurt you. Because <laughs> you're my bro, that's right. <laughs> it was just crazy, like the types of things people do. And then like when you call them out, or you didn't even call them out. You just noticed and yeah. well, you were talking thing, too loudly. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah. They heard you noticing, yeah. so. <sighs> Which it doesn't matter if they knew, if, if, if I knew or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't, yeah. But they didn't want everyone else knowing because then yeah. they wouldn't get their money. They, then they don't get their money. Yeah. But if you hadn't noticed, the Eiffel Tower is behind us. So I think we're going to walk out here a little bit and see what we can see from here, you know? It's because it looks so cool. I don't know if we'll go up today only because the line's so long. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> with my little eye a couple of birds not blackbirds white scooter birds open the app and ride scanning beep beep all right what is that place i don't know let's scoodaddle scoodaddle No bikes, no dogs. Doesn't say anything about scooters or cameras. Let's go. Um, a dog under. God, this is really hard to walk on. How did horses break their ankles? They probably Poor did. Poor horsey ankles. Poor horsey ankles. That's how they got to have such strong ankles over time. You never hear of a horse breaking its ankles now, do you? No? Yeah, because they, they used to kill them. Because they used to walk on this. <laughs> now they have ankles of steel. Horse has a bad leg. You can't be like, here horse, you're gonna have three legs. They say, here horse, you're gonna be made into some glue. It's open right now. Huh. Hey. Group of buildings containing museum and monuments all relating to the military history of France, as well as a hospital and a retirement home for war veterans. little traveler he's a good traveler sometimes you get in a mood but for the most part you do really he's good gotta feed you to make you feel better huh? yeah just give me some food every once in a while and I'll be okay I really like these I love the way that portrait guy had the prices hidden on the back of that page oh no they're right here yeah. you didn't see these yeah
we headed back to our hotel. Calvin fell asleep on the train ride back because he was just exhausted. And then we all got back here and literally we were all asleep by like 6.30 or 7 o'clock. We were dead tired. But today, I'm not taking a backpack. I have this small little pocket right here. So I have my train ticket. I'm gonna put my extra battery in there. I have a piece of gum. And then I'm carrying my phone. And our tag fell off. And then I have my phone and my camera. And I should have brought my flip belt. I got a flip belt for running back home and I was gonna bring it and I didn't. So now we're gonna try to find a small bag um, to put all of my stuff in today, like a fanny pack or a small bag. I dropped the, when the door had closed, it knocked the do not disturb off on the floor, so I had to grab it. But we're gonna set off on different adventures today. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do this. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. But for now, that is that. And we'll see you when we see you. Bye. Bye.